Practice 3, Reading. Reading together develops vocabulary and comprehension, nurtures a love for reading, and motivates children to want to learn to read. Even just interacting with a book can help babies to develop a sense of familiarity with books, which will lead to even more interactions and happy memories. While exploring a book with children, be sure to point out things you see in the pictures to boost vocabulary. That's not my bunny. Can you feel the bunny? Feel that bunny's tail. It's so soft. It's so soft. Let's see. Oh, that's not my bunny. Its paws are too rough. Rough. You feel the bunny's paws? Feel the rough. Stop my bunny, his tail is too wooly. Where's the bunny's tail? Where's the bunny's tail? <gasps> Tail's too wooly. Feel the wooly. Mm. Oh, look, a flower. Flower. Not oh, that's not my bunny. Its eyes are too shiny. Look at its shiny eyes. Look at its shiny eyes. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Okay, ready? <gasps> That's not my bunny. His nose is too fuzzy. There's your nose. Where's the bunny's nose? Bunny's nose. Sharing books that rhyme is not only fun and engaging, but also builds a child's phonological awareness. Hearing those smaller sounds and words will help them to eventually learn how to read. As you read together, practice letter knowledge with your child by talking about the letters and words you see. You can do this outside of the book, too. Words are everywhere. Build on your child's background knowledge by reading books with subjects that interest your child. Try relating a situation in a book to an experience in your child's life to help them to make a connection to the story. Encourage babies to chew on and bat at board books as they explore and soon they'll be turning pages and looking at pictures too. Shared reading and talking about books are the most important activities to help children to get ready to read. Have books in your home. Get caught reading. Show your child that reading is a part of your everyday life and they will mirror this behavior and strive to make reading a part of their lives as well. Reading aloud to children not only provides a bonding experience with caring adults, but the simple act of reading aloud to a child for 15 minutes a day for five years results in 27,375 minutes of language exposure, which can put your child on the path to high literacy achievement. Follow along with this video series in the Virtual Storytime Room, the library's webpage, social media, or YouTube channel. Together, we can strive for every child being ready to read.